So bye everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to share with you guys a way of getting OnePlus 6 gestures on other Android devices. This is TK, let's check it out. Natively, the Galaxy S9 Plus does not have any gestures. So the best thing you could do with the navigation bar is if, let's say you're in an application, if you double press it, it becomes more of a hiding navigation bar. You can swipe it up, double press it again to make it permanent. Or if you keep it into the, uh, and we'll go back here, that little thing that I just showed you guys right here, this little swipe option, this is part of uh, one of the main customizations that Samsung does allow, and it's called Good Lock 2018. And I've done another video, and I'm working on another video for you guys on this as they've done a major update to it. But the short answer is no gestures are built into this and we're going to be using navigation gesture by XDA to be able to launch these things. Now by default this app is not a root requiring application. You can enable the permission that it does require using ADB with a PC. Although if you are rooted you just need to grant root permission and it'll work the same way. So if you have root go with that and if you don't follow the link in the description below to be able to turn on that permission using your PC. Again it's not going to modify the, the actual uh, rooting the system. All it's going to do is provide this application the correct permission on this device only to run. Um, once you turn on those functionalities and uh, make sure that if you do go into the premium status you'll see an indicator there. Uh, you have a few options to be able to customize. You have a gestures option, you have the split pill option which I'll share with you guys. I'm going to turn that off for a second. Uh, we can basically customize the tab. Uh, those are the options to be able to tap the pill uh, and of course swipes. So those are the swipes that you can do on the pill itself. So let's go back and I'm going to turn it on. You'll notice the pill is right above the navigation bar. The permission that we need is to be able to hide the navigation bar. So if we go into the settings or the gestures, you'll notice here there's the tap, the swipes, and that's what they're referring to here. So if I swipe, if I swipe up from the actual pill, it takes me back and I can go in and customize the different functionalities of what I want it to do. What you can do and where it becomes really, really functional is when I turn on the split pill and that gives us the ability to turn on the OnePlus 6 gestures and it splits it into three pieces. So basically I can actually swipe back here similarly to the way we did it here. And if I swipe back from the left, I can go back into the application. And of course I have my swipe right here so they get one step back. Uh, you can customize the sections, of course, as far as what you can do from the left, the center and the right. And as what you can do is basically also by holding and swiping and holding, that's the premium functionality, to be able to initiate other actions. So if I swipe up in here and hold, it should open up my notification panel. These are the things you can do. So we'll go back one more time. Now, as far as the appearance, you can customize this to your heart's content. The pill itself is the functionality that you're customizing here. Because once you actually turn it off, let's go back, you actually have a persistent pill that you can customize. And you can go into the appearance, change the size, the shape, the width, all of the stuff that you normally expect. Uh, of course, as well as behavior with the vibration level, animation duration, uh, pill hiding option if you're having any concerns. And of course, don't move the pill uh, when the keyboard is shown. If you want to basically Keep the, the pill there, you can keep it. If you don't, the keyboard usually will overwrite that. Uh, last but not least, compatibility. I don't have any of these turned on, but if you do have any problems running this on your device, you definitely want to check these guys out. And uh, last but not least, experimental settings. Hide the pill when the keyboard is shown. That's the one function that you can do if you'd want. And of course, use full over, uh, screen overlay. Now, again, it works the same way. If, you pr if you're more, uh, prefer your preference is to have it as a pill, you can definitely do it this way. I personally like to split it and that was pushed up in one of the recent updates uh, earlier this week. Now it does have a persistent notification that sits in your notification panel. You can hide it or take it away if you'd like. I personally like to keep it there so I know whenever it is uh, running. You also have the ability of being able to turn it on and turn it off using a toggle in your notification panel here. So you can go under button, order, and then add it in there. It'll show up as one of your button options in there and you'll be able to use that as a very nice functionality. The development behind this app is basically very strong. Uh, this feature, this new feature I'm sharing with you guys today, which is the OnePlus 6 type gestures, um, was just announced and actually made available earlier this week. So this is definitely a recent update. Uh, you can still use, enjoy it on any other device. Like I said, for me, the S9 Plus is a very good daily driver for me. It's a solid daily driver and my OnePlus 6 has always been my secondary. So what I have now is the ability of just having consistent type gestures on both devices. I don't have to remember that one has buttons and one has gestures or if they do have gestures, a lot of times you end up having two different types of gestures. Uh, this just makes it very consistent, cohesive and across multiple devices. So if I switch to the next phone, I can just install the navigation gesture app and I'm still able to control it the way I like. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. There'll be a video in the description below on how to give permission to this device. So if you're using the ADB permission as opposed to root, there'll be a video for that there. Um, other than that, 
check it out. Let me know what you guys think. The XDA knocked it out of the park again. And I'm not just saying that because I do videos for them, because I truly appreciate the fact of bringing in gestures to our Android devices that are seamless, that are basically just well-designed and they're listening. So if you have any concerns, please reach out to them. There'll be a link again in the description below just to kind of you know give them feedback. And hopefully your feedback can be a feature in the next update. This is TK. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you guys in the next video.